day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to the curse of the dead gods. Last time, we kind of got our ass handed, handed to us by the Jaguar God Avatar, which is fair, which is fair. He's supposedly meant to be like, I don't know, ooh, a crippling bow, that sounds nice. It, he's supposedly meant to be like the God of Strength. So this time, we're going to be heading through the Eagle Temple, fighting all the storm and all of that. Ooh, we can start with stats, which will then work into a weapon. Or we can go into gold, and then more gold, and then weapon. Oh, but if we go the attributes, then weapon, we can get an upgrade later on. We have to go for the stats first, just because stats are that important. Wow, I'm getting screwed for how many stats I've got an as an option. Well, if you're going to screw me out of these many stats... Well, I suppose I'd better take as many as I can. We might be going for a high corruption route this time. Which is why I've got that new blessing equipped, allowing my max corruption to be 120. Haha! -ha. I didn't like getting almost fatally cursed last time. And I'm going to do what I can to avoid that. Two shots from a crippling bow is all it takes to kill. Good to know. Very good to know. Boom, got this little area which has plenty of gold for me just to collect and abuse. Marvelous. The game's already working with me, aren't you, game? No. Bad. You do not get into melee. I'll take that. Just because I can't be bothered to think about the consequences right now. Goodbye. Right. Really. Really don't like the orbs of stupid bullcrap. Ooh, you look like perception. No, you're not. You're dexterity. <sighs> well, give me my damage, I suppose. You can re whether you get dexterity as one of your very first stats really determines whether you're going for a gold route or whether you're going for a co corruption route. Today, it looks like I'm going for a corruption route. So... You know, maybe I should work on the basis of trying to get multiple curses so I can choose which is the... which is the... The favorite to keep. Great. Come on. Attack. I will not be... so easily... Defeat it! Damn it, I lost my great bonus. Must have let it expire. No. If I can't have the full greed bonus, I will take the minor greed bonus. Go screw yourselves! Give me my lovely weapon, and I expect a good one. What do you offer me? A javelin. Interesting. Bonus damage if the secondary weapon is a dagger, okay. Bonus damage in light, okay. Plus bonus critical damage, okay. And bonus damage based on the, the distance they've traveled. I'm tempted just because you're a rare one. But, you know what, screw it. If we're going a corruption route, we might as well get the curse immediately, shouldn't we? No fear, no reprise. I just gotta make sure I actually start lighting my way. Which is gonna be the important bit that I will never do. Torch of Sorrow. Your torch lo loses its fire and lighting properties. It shines with a dark light, still revealing traps. You, aren't, you no longer take extra damage when standing in darkness. Wait, so it... Re Look to the moon to see the light in its reflection. Look to the sun if you want to go blind. Your torch loses its light and lighting property. It loses its fire and lighting properties. It shines with a dark light, still revealing hidden traps. You no longer take extra damage when standing in darkness. 
Okay, game, I'm having an, a hard time understanding what is the actual downside to that curse? Maybe one of the tactics of this game is to get cursed as quickly as possible so you can find the good curses. Because I don't take bonus damage in darkness anymore. I don't take... what am I call it? I suppose it's a case of the... Oh, I can't actually light things with my torch anymore. But it does still... Provide me with information about... So I could just cart light stuff, in it enabling me to get benefit from the bonus damage that is my... My new daggers, right? Regain 4% max HP every time you pass through a door. I like it. Oh, and what's this? What's this going to be? Stal talent? Oh, I would get perception for it. I need that. I am not going to be able to get perception in any other way. So, yes, please. Hello, relics. What do you offer? Plus one level on secondary weapon. Meh. Plus 30% damage against weakened enemies. That's actually really good for me, considering I have the... The what am I call it right now? The weakening bow. I can't see the map, can I? No. But that gives me perception, which means more gold. More damage versus more gold. More damage versus more gold. I just realized I can't set the final guy on fire thanks to this this stupid torch thing. Meaning I can't get the bo bonus big bow. Meaning I should probably go with this because of the simple fact it gets me more gold significantly easier which I'm going to need to spend on the upgrade for my bow. Yeah. So bring it on, enemies. Plus 30%, 33% to all healing effects. Very nice. I love how I still have my greed kills right now. 15% bonus damage to poison attacks. Don't have any poison, not really any point to that. Aha! Nice try, you. But I am too quick for you. Too good, too agile. You think your simple traps are enough to stop me? No, they are not. I am greater than anything you can provide at me. Even when I am out of stamina, I avoid your attacks. That really shows the pitifulness of how much you can do to me. <laughs> right, th there we go across a bridge. And that's the only way we can go, because that was just a bit of extra money. Which I'm always grateful for. Let's move. Hurry up. Right! Maybe what I should do is focus on using the bow once, maybe twice, and then, what am I calling it, using my new throwing axes. Ooh, relic, cursed, Consume, consumed to restore 50% of max HP when taking a fatal blow. What? Oh, so I... That's basically a resurrection, isn't it? Huh. Huh. But that's removing corruption. But that's a resurrection. Corruption, resurrection. Corruption, resurrection. Honestly, I have to go for a resurrection. I think that's too much of a valuable thing. Right, I'll take my second curse. Bring it. Oh, bloodlust. Oh, is this the... Yeah, that's the health one. Mmm. Which means getting gold is gonna be... Suddenly significantly more difficult. I underestimate these daggers. They do an awful lot, actually. But I've also just... Remembered that the downside to this bloodlust curse is the fact I can't heal in any other way now, can I? Crippling bow, minus one corruption for every enemy killed. Boom! We have our enchantment! 
Thank you. Thank you very much. What do we have here? Secondary whip, barbed wit, charge attacks, weaken enemies. Tempting. Tempting. But gold. I need more ways to get gold. I do not have enough. I've got to start looking around the room before I start killing everything. I feel. Because of the fact I'm an archer, I tend to favor just... Killing everything immediately. But, reality of the situation is, I need to explore the room because I feel these breakable walls can only be destroyed by, well, the enemies in the environment, you know? Bonus to all healing effects, bonus to damage, perfect dodges restore one additional stamina. Uh, you know what? I'll take the healing effects. Just because da extra damage and, you know, just nice in general. Hello there, Architect of the Storm! You will find yourself... Not entertained by me, I am quite sure. Ow, ow, ow. Oh yeah, I get money for getting damaged. I killed you while you were on fire, apparently, somehow. I don't know how you set a flame, but you're dead now, so... Touch of sorrow, no longer take- No, I'll remove the bloodlust, please. Because the bloodlust is more negative than it is positive. What do we have here? Jaguar Claw. Bonus fire damage. I don't have fire damage, I don't think. What about this? Weighted blades. I mean, I have weighted blades and they're frankly more powerful than yours. Give me the gold. As for here, I'll take negative eight corruption actually, because negative eight is quite a fair amount. And I'm likely going to get cursed again before this day is up anyway, so yeah. So, what options do I have here? There's a challenge room over there, which will give- which is the route of a million money. But if I go this way, I can get- I can get attributes. Attributes, unknown room, upgrade room, attributes, unknown room, weapon, versus... Well, relic, upgrade, weapon, money, money, mega money. Either way, I get an upgrade, but one route gives me more money than the other. And frankly, the stats are actually just that important, so I will go for the stats. I've already proven I care not for your curses! And your traps are useless against me too! Damn you, Thunder Baby! Honestly, though, taking no no extra damage in darkness is definitely going to probably be the thing that saves my life. Aren't you the thing that just stops in place to heal yourself? Yes, you are. But your great my great counter does go up when I ignore you. Ooh, do I want perception or constitution? Perception. God damn it, pal! Can't you just let yourself die? Yeah, just like that. That makes everyone so much happier. Man, those things activate from quite far away, don't they? What's this do? Weighted blades. Remove one corruption for every enemy killed. Yes, please! Or rather, yes please to the fact that I just, you know, I'll take the plus eight corruption. Minus eight. Oh, also if the... Wow, okay. That's an interesting corridor and a half. Never seen anything like that before. Ah, damage and corrupt perception, you say? Well, good sir, I have more than enough gold for that. 
I knew coming for the stats was the right idea. Now let's go to the unknown room, because I certainly can't afford a relic. What? I have to admit, I like how technological the Eagle Temple looks. With all of these moving things around the place. They just look... Kind of awesome, you know? Yeah, crippling bow and then a and then an arrow combo is definitely one of the better options for me. What's this? Bonus lightning attacks. I don't have any lightning attacks. Thunder Baby is certainly one of the more annoying of the enemies available. Right. Do we want to go left or do we want to go right? I say I'm going to go left. What can I find in the left? A movement corridor. <sighs> yeah. Definitely enjoying the, th the throwing daggers, actually. Although, the fact they have the bonus light damage enchantment definitely is not something that works in my favor. Hello, Thunder Baby. <sighs> Come on, you big, massive prick! There! You know, I should be trying to get more kills with the... the bow, considering its special ability to, you know, remove corruption when I kill things with it. Ooh, that's five perception! Less lightning damage, but five perception. Interesting how the upgrade has worked. Oh, but bonus healing effects. Oh, but bonus weakened damage to weakened enemies. As much as I like the extra healing effects, I do have a resurrection trinket. So, you know what? I think I'll go for the bonus. I have to use this, just because I actually focus on weakening enemies thanks to my bow. Sometimes you need to accept your curses and your relics and your fate and just take a, what you need to do in the face. Curse me! Gold puncher? Each door imposes a, a, a 300 gold pe payment of 300 gold. Each gold not paid is converted into damage. If all gold is paid, 10% of maximum health is restored. I can understand both the good side and the downside to that. Come on, hit me! You can't get me! You're absolute losers! God damn you! I dodged out of that, that's... I dislike harpies on so many levels. Game definitely values speed more than it does really anything else, is all I can say. So what upgrades do I have available to me? Upgrading the wet the daggers, which I am actually using quite a bit. Upgrading the bow, which I also use quite a bit. If I upgrade the daggers, I have to do it via corruption. And I've pretty much got enough of a corruption on me at the moment. So let's you upgrade the bow. I can upgrade my da- I can upgrade- get the corruption curse from the- from the attributes. Wow. I am getting the bonus weakening stuff. Really helps my damage. Quite a bit. I do not need a Queen Harpy, thank you. I mean, at least right now I've got the 300 gold needed to pay for my entrance fee into the place. I have to wonder if that's a benefit or a negative more than anything. Because healing 10% of your max HP every time is still pretty nice, you know? 
I can go across a bridge over there. Or a bridge over here. Well, we got no way to tell the difference, so I'll go over here. Ah, and you bring me into a layer of light. Again, left or right. I quite like how big these get. These places can get, honestly. Ah, oh, hello there! Yeah, I certainly need to weaken things. That definitely makes a huge difference on thing, everything. Oh! Damage to gold. I'm gonna have to say a big fat no to that one, unfortunately. I kind of also am quite entertained by these giant trap rooms. Of course it's both. Well, you still offer take less blood of less of a blood offering than the other route did. So so be it. Right, I need to start killing things with my bow if I want to avoid another corrupt- another curse. Well, god damn it, I guess I'm getting cursed. What is my third curse? Chromatic defense. When r a chaos escapes the priests of Yaths, their runic eggs need only hear a heartbeat to awaken. Runic eggs activate automatically if you stand near them. What are runic eggs? God damn you all to hell! Especially that thing. Mostly that thing. 3% max HP when killed by the environment. No thanks. I'm good without. Get some energy back. Start proving to you why I'm the boss. Go screw yourself, you big ass giant annoying bastard! Right. So. I don't think I can actually buy. I need anything from this, do I? Because I'm enjoying my. What am I call it? My daggers, and there's not really. I don't really have enough gold to be able to justify buying anything else. So let's fight the champion! On full health? Hello, you. So apparently... All I need to do for you... Is perfect dodge your charge... Just... Once. Or... Five times. Three times. I could do that. I really hate the one where they come through the the walls like that. Prepare the energy. I would be grateful if you actually decided to charge towards me, you know. Yeah, like that. Goodbye! Oh wait, I need to pick up your weapon if I want to do it. And what I wanted it for was the curse, wasn't it? Great. You know what? I don't know what runic eggs are, and I'm fine with, how, considering how much HP I'm on, paying 300 gold for a 10% max HP dot boost. That is a nice bonus. Yes, please. And I don't even get the... The extra one of the the super weapon, do I? Great. Well, actually, no, I didn't want it anyway, considering what I just said. All right, so three hundred gold. Let's do this. What do I want to do? I probably want the gold because I do not want any more corruption, and I can easily heal up from going through the doors. Running through the land, trying to find the way. Who knows what we'll be after if we're here today. Ow. Must remember, kill with bow. I do not like you already. 
really do not like. What the hell is that ability there? I really hate the delay on that stupid attack! Oh my god, really? I can use the traps to break his shield? Oh, that's awesome to know. Bonus damage based on gold held. No, I'll trade that for the gold. I need more gold. I need more gold to get health. More damage for spears. No, more gold. Damn you to hell! In the end, I still have a lot in my favor. Because I've now got a real ton of gold to do what I need to do with it. In addition, I don't have to accept the challenge. No, the challenge in the end is an option. Okay. I've been enjoying this Dark Torch, admittedly. I wouldn't be surprised if it's what's kept me alive for so long. You. I really hate you. You guys. You guys make no sense. Absolutely none with your attack animations. You really don't. Alright, so if any of them activate, they'll activate all the rest. That's how they work. Fine. I don't like this room of traps. I need some more health. Pretty damn quick. Oh, fuck no! I don't care if I don't get the... The corruption bonus. Or the greed kills. For these individual little... Pricks. These guys with the swords desperately need to die. Inflict going through a door inflicts less per corruption. You know what? I'll just take the constitution at this point. Because I feel I'm going to desperately need some. Just gradually go through. Take our time. Don't need to get hit by any lousy traps. You know what? I think I'll actually go for both for once. Please. Thank you. Now then, challenge. And you know what else? Screw your challenge. I am not interested. I will just go straight on and consider that a free floor. A free floor to allow me to heal. Because dear lord, do I need it. This is why if you, you can use some curses to your advantage. Goodbye. I don't like you, nor do I ever plan to. I just need to kill with my bow and arrow in order to remove a bunch of my corruption. Chances are I'm not going to be able to avoid the third curse before by the end of this. But you know what? That's okay. As long as I just don't die. The fact I have that nice... What am I call it? Restore 50% of my max HP trinket. It's very nice. It's actually because of that. I should have probably been upgrading my... Upgrading my constitution more than I have. There we go. More corruption negative for me. There's a door there which I needed to break down. But I don't care. Right now. I just want to get through. To finish. And here we go. 
Hmm, more damage to weakened enemies. And one of them gives me constitution, which I desperately need right now. Hmm. The question is, what's better, the extra damage with perception or the constitution? When I've got this trinket, the answer is very, very simple. So I will take the negative greed timer at this point. Because I don't need mu gold as much anymore. I might need it, actually. Point is, the more health I have, the more I heal. Especially as it looks like I'm going into a battle arena. Eat my bow and arrow, you inferior archers. I do not care about greed timers. I do not. They are unimportant and only aid in giving me... Oh, fuck. What do you give? Bonus max health? Thank you very much. You, fellow. I despise. Take my despising and die. Right. What do we have here then? This is upgrades, right? So I can now upgrade my bow once again. Yes, please. Okay. Attributes. I'm gonna have to curse myself for the attributes, aren't I? Let's see if they're any good first. Because I am about to be on full health. Considering the curse at this point is likely unavoidable. Unless I... Okay, that's fucking stupid. My arrows were hitting the... The what I'ma call it behind me? Really? Please be gold. Bonus HP. Oh, but six, but 12 constitution. You know what? I think I'll actually take that. Just because that's going to make my other trinket significantly more powerful. Hello, Thunder Baby. Yep. Don't care about the weak, about the, the corruption negative. All that matters is the survival. Oh, dear lord, no. What is, with, why does that look like that? Again. I hate your kind on so many levels. Go screw yourself. What are you giving me? Minus 12 corruption. Ooh. That's quite the doozy. Mmm. If I take it, I get cursed. If I don't take it, I don't get cursed. Do I want to risk the curse. Would things be fun if I didn't risk the curse? Hmm. That is the great question. And I don't think they would be fun unless I risk the curse. Give me my curse! I might as well go full all the way as this is the last one. Show me my final curse. Fool's Bounty. I think we've had that one before. Opening a chest now inflicts corruption. Chests. Ha! It's useless! It doesn't matter! That curse is absolutely pointless at this stage! Fight me! Well, you don't mess up, mess around, do you? What are you doing? Uh. You heal?! Chuck. Healing is not fair, you know?
I think I can take this if I take this carefully and easily I I should Ah, so you just summon a bunch of storm clouds as your thing, I see. Well, you know what? I must say... I'm not particularly threatened at the moment. Because your movement patterns are fairly simple. Your big thing is you summon a bunch of things onto the, the field, which, while granted, might be considered annoying. I would not consider them... Bow and arrow! There we go, goodbye! Vanity, you know what? I do have plenty of that. And I think he was feeling plenty of that himself, actually. Cause that was, compared to the Jaguar boss, that was very, very simple. Huh. I mean, I had this big fancy cursed relic which we never saw before. And it's just like, oh, we're going to need this for the final boss. And then I'm just here on like, I was, I enter on full health and I'm not even below half for when we finish. <sighs> Compared to the Jaguar, I'm disappointed. I really am. Dark Avatar of the Eagle. I mean, that's fair. He is a, he is the final boss. I expect him to do the most damage. Well. We got another blood emblem. Well. That's a good place to end today's episode then, I suppose. So, thank you for all for watching. I should probably do this outro correctly. Even though you've probably all stopped watching at this point. So I don't know why I bother keeping this. But for those of you who are still watching. I suppose I should just keep on going. For you never know who might actually watch these until the end. To be able to watch my entire rambling. Because you never know what's going to happen. I mean we've got plenty of these. Uh, what I'm going to call it shards now. So I can upgrade my weapon altars even further. Let's upgrade the main weapons. Because I do actually quite like the main weapons. Maybe I can get an upgrade with the main weapons. Ooh what do we got here? A blazing sword. Ah it's boring. What do we got here? Venomous flags. Remove corruption for every enemy clay Ooh, that sounds like tempting. Well, you should probably go ahead and try that for next time. But that's for next time. So, everyone, it looks like what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today. I have been your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet. And I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell. Good day. And finally, good night.